All right, so you're you're dealing with some regression, and um, let's let's take this a little bit further um, than just uh, doing the regression. I've got some data right here. List number one is actually my explanatory variable, and that is uh, fat grams. <clears throat> and in list number two, I've got uh, calories. So I just got some data, and this is all the data I have, 13 all the way down to 43. And then in list number two, those are the response variables. So I've got my explanatory variables in list number one, my response variables in list number two. I already went ahead and did the linear regression. And when I looked at my linear regression, I saw that R was 0.966. And that tells me that that's a pretty positive, strong, positive linear association. And uh, then I went ahead and looked at the scatter plot, and I looked at the line of best fit, or the least squared regression line. It looks like this, and that looks pretty good. And I also looked at the uh, residual plot. Down here is my uh, residual plot, because you always want to check not only the scatter plot, but the residual plot as well to, to make sure that you've got um, uh, an appropriate linear um, uh, relationship or association going on here and this is this is scattered enough uh, remember with your residual plot you want to have uh, a residual plot where the dots are just all over the place there's no pattern and over here in this area there's definitely no pattern this one point uh, I'm gonna leave it there I don't think that that's enough for me to say that there's any kind of pattern or curvature to this if I had some more data I, w I would hope that this would be kind of scattered around as well uh, on the lower end but anyways, I want to focus uh, on this video, I want to focus a little bit more on what is R and what is R squared. Because when you do your linear regression, you've got two values here. You've got R, and if we remember, R is our uh, correlation coefficient. And R tells us um, the form of the regression. And in this case, we're looking at linear, a linear form. It also gives us direction. If it's positive, then we have a positive association. If it's negative, if R is negative, it gives us a negative association. And it also gives us, let's see, form, direction, and strength. The closer we are to one, positive one, or negative one, the stronger the linear relationship, or the stronger the linear association. So this one's pretty strong, 0.9665. That's a pretty strong, positive, uh, linear relationship or linear association between these two variables, fat grams and calories. And by looking at some of the other things, the residual plot and um, the scatter plot itself, I would say that this is definitely straight enough to be uh, considered linear. But what about this other one here? What about this R squared that is given to us? Now, that's just exactly what it says. It's we take R, 0.9665, and we square it to get 0.934. Well, R squared helps us to, to look at the variation in the two variables. If we look at this uh, scatter plot right here, there's variation that goes on. Um, and the variation is measured by the residuals. We use the residuals in some way to find this R value. That's in a, a different video. But we, uh, we, we use these, the residuals for the variation in our, in our response variable is used to find this R. So variation is what we're looking at when we deal with R squared. Let me scroll down a little bit here. And this is how you would deal with R squared. This is what it means. R squared tells us how much of the variation in the response variable is explained by the variation in the explanatory variable. Remember our, our response variable is y and our explanatory variable is x. So r squared gives us an idea or a percentage of how much of the variation, how much of the variation in the response variable is explained by the variation in the explanatory variable. There's, there's definitely variation in our uh, response variable. Uh, if there were no variation, then every single one of these points would be on this line. So how much of the variation, uh, how can we describe it? Well, uh, the R squared tells us how much or what percent of the variation in Y 
is explained by the variation in x, or our response and explanatory. So this right here is just kind of a, a, a way to um, write or explain the r squared. If you're asked to describe r squared or explain what r squared means, you can fill in this little, fill in the blanks on this little sentence right here. We'd say the coefficient, and by the way, r squared is sometimes, sometimes called the coefficient of determination. So the coefficient of determination tells us the blank percent of the variation in blank is explained by the variation in blank. And what goes into these blanks, this is where your R squared would go. And this is where your um, response variable would go. And over here is where your explanatory variable would go. So if I were to describe um, this situation up here, what I would say is I'm dealing with fat grams and calories. So let me type this in. <coughs> I would say my R squared up here is 0.93. Now, R squared is usually written as a percent. There's an announcement going on. I'm just going to let it go and not redo this entire video. So here we go. <clears throat> um, here's how I would write this. I could say 93 point, let's go two decimal places, 93.43% of the very variation in calories can be explained by the variation in fat grams. And that right there, I mean, that, that, that's, this is something that you'll be asked to do in AP Stats, explain R, and we, we recognize that there is variation in both variables. And when we compare the two and do a regression, R squared tells us the percentage of variation in our response variable that can be explained by the variation in our fat grams. Um, there's one more thing that I'll say here, and, and this is another thing about um, R squared, and that's that the closer R squared is to 100%, the better the line of best fit. So the closer I get to 100% the better the line of best fit. So that R squared is another way to measure, you know, how good my line of best fit is. But that should not be the only thing that I look at when I'm deciding if my line of best fit is good or not.